everybody, and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I'm your host, Mr. Bevers. That's right. It's time for me to crack my first box of Masters 25. A lot of people asked in the comments how many boxes I'd be getting. I wasn't sure at the time. I can tell you now that I got a number of boxes, probably more than most people. Um, a lot of people were really upset with how this set was looking um, at the end of spoiler season, right? Um... I don't know. I like the Masters sets in general, even when they're a little bit worse. Just because they tend to give you a little bit more shock and awe. Um, for your value. Um, of course, they did this thing that they did with like the conspiracy sets, where they put this big piece of cardboard in here just to make the box sit like a square. And I have a feeling the reason they did it, and this is like, um, I think Rudy mentioned it in one of his videos, where he was wondering why they had, you know, what made them decide to put that extra piece of cardboard in. I'll, I don't know. I honestly don't know, right? But I have a feeling it's to make this, it was to make this display taller than all the other Modern Master sets. Because this is actually a little bit taller now, because it sits up higher. It sits up higher by about, you know half an inch so the top of this is actually taller than all of the other boxes so maybe that maybe that's all it was maybe that's all the that maybe that's all the reason was so this is my first box of modern masters 25 or yeah masters 25 I should say not modern masters just masters 25 so um, I don't remember exactly what we're looking for in here, I honestly don't remember. I know that there's like Jace is a big hit, and uh, there's Chalice, and then there's like the 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 filter lands. Um, I honestly don't remember what else there is. Core Firewalker, Exclude, Invigorate, and our first rare is Vesuvian Shapeshifter from. Uh, time shifted I think it's from time shifted right the symbol in the because you can tell by the symbol down here I think it's time shifted so there you go first rare and our first foil is an uh, Inok survivalist which is actually a really cool uh, cool card very versatile actually this card I find it's been doing a lot of good work in draft because um, there seems to be a lot of enchantments going around for instance, like Lunar Mantle and uh, Corsair of Crufix. All right, so a Counterspell. So that's probably something to keep note of. I don't know if it's over a dollar. Uh, I know that the other Counterspell from Eternal Masters was just barely over a dollar, so it might not be might not be a over a dollar anymore. Crozen Colossus, Brine Elemental, Cloud Blazer. There it is. Hey, speaking of Corsair. There it is. Corsair of Crufix. Not a bad little rare. Oh, okay, so we got our foil rare. And we got a fish token. Look at that fish token. Um, so we got Corsair, which is not a bad little rare. But our foil rare from the box is a living wish. I have a feeling that that's not uh, something that we're too too concerned about, to be honest. We can, we can actually just do a quick little p poke around here. Uh, where are we here? Living Wish Foil. Oh, it's not bad. Ten, ten bucks or so. So, I mean, not not the worst foil rare to hit, I guess. Uh, the question, I guess, is... So, that's from Judgment. So, there is the possibility that you can have a foil copy of that rare from Judgment. So, that's probably why it's not a higher value. Some of these foil rares, if it's a rare from a set that didn't was like prior to the foiling process, the foils of those rares might be worth quite a bit more. Enthralling Victor... Ash Barons. I don't know what this is sitting at anymore, but like I know it was like a five to six dollar uncommon for quite some time. Will of the Wisps, and we got a Rat Catcher as our rare with a foil, Uncaged Fury, and a little elf token. Good old Rat Catcher, six mana four four. That uh, says you know fe it has fear, and it says at the beginning of your upkeep you may search your library for a rat card. 
reveal it and put it into your hand. Oh, oh, okay, you're common. I see what they're saying now. Now that I'm opening more of these packs, I can see where people are like the the the, the color difference between the common and the uncommon is is there. You can definitely see it. It's just not nearly as prevalent as it was in other sets, mainly because normally this symbol is is a nice dark black color um, on the commons, whereas now they've, for whatever reason, they've put the 25 in white, uh, I guess to accentuate the the 25, right? Because they couldn't have it. If you made it black, you wouldn't be able to see, like, the, the Planeswalker symbol behind it, right? But what they could have done is just inverted it. They could have made the Planeswalker symbol white to accentuate it and made the the 25 black and then it would have stood out just as well um, and then just do the highlights around the 25 in white so that way you can tell oh it's a common but maybe that was going to cost too much money who knows so we had a pillory of the sleepless a heavy arbalist ooh genju of the spires man i didn't know this was even in this set these enchant land things are sweet um so this is a enchant land it's an enchantment aura for one mana and it says Enchanted Mountain becomes a 6-1 red spirit creature that's uh, uh, until end of turn. It's still land. When the mountain is put into the graveyard, you may return Genju of the Spires from your graveyard to your hand. So you get to return the enchantment back to your hand and then basically just enchant another mountain. Oh, snap! We got a Vendillion Click. Oh, that's a nice little hit. So there you go. That's what probably in the $30 range, I would guess, somewhere in there. I know it was like $40, $50 before, but like now that it's been reprinted, it's probably a little less. So there you go, a nice little mythic. That'll go with our foil rare there. And our foil is a freed from the real. Nice little foil uncommon. And a soldier token. And a little soldier man. I don't know if there's any commons of note other than the counterspell that I have to keep track of. Mishra's Factory. So we know that Mishra's Factory used to be worth a couple bucks. I don't think it is anymore. Uh, Zombify. Brine Elemental again. And our rare here is a Flooded Grove. Our first filter land. Okay, and it's green-blue. I don't know if that's a good one. Um, I'm going to guess that it's probably all right. I think all the blue filter lands are probably the ones you're looking for. Um, and our our rare is or our foil is a Horror of the Broken Lands from Amonkhet. So people should be fairly familiar with him. I like the fact, I you know, like... Maybe some people are not super keen on the fact that they reprinted cards that are just like, you know, within the last few sets. But I think it's kind of cool that they printed the cards from like a whole bunch of like basically at least one card from every set that's ever been released, which is kind of cool. Blue Elemental Blast. Fallen Angel. Invigorate. And Bryon Stout Stoutram. Stout? Stout Arm? Stout arm, that's the better. Let's 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 pronounce the word. Bryon Stout arm. This guy was cool. He's from Lorwyn Block. He hurls things, which is pretty funny. Uh, sacrifice another creature. He deals damage equal to that sacrifice creature's power. So he basically fling on a stick, fling on a stick, and uh, noble uh, noble Templar as our foil. Nice little uh, cycle for planes. Plane cycle for two. Um, these guys are really good. Um, in any deck where you're splashing so like say you're splashing white in a in a sealed deck or in a draft deck but you like you have a really good white card that only costs one white you just pick up a couple of these guys and just throw them in your deck because for two mana you can go and get your planes so that you can then cast your other thing all right it basically just goes and gets you your 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 splash color which is kind of nice all right Watch Wolf, a little un uncommon there, Genju of the Spires, Ordeal of Heliod, and our rare is a Blue Sun Zenith. So there you go, target player draws X cards, shuffle Blue Sun Zenith into its owner's library, and our foil is a Phantasmal Bear with a Morph Token. The new Morph Token art is very cool. I really like it. Um, I like it much more than the, the last cons block morph tokens that's for sure simian spirit guide i don't know if this guy's still worth anything but to show the art off just in case you guys haven't seen it there it is it's very pretty 
Simeon Spear Guide, I'm going to guess, is probably still worth something in paper. Uh, Fiend Hunter, it might go down quite a bit now, but it, it'll probably still be over a dollar. Quicksand, and our rare is a Decree of Justice. So create X44 white angel creatures with flying. Cycle. When you cycle it, you may pay X. If you do, create X11 white soldier tokens. And our foil is a foil ire shaman. Oh, we got the whale token. When this creature dies, create a 9-9 blue kraken. Jeez. Okay. That is a that is a that is a hefty token. A 6-6 six, six token that makes a 9-9 nine, nine when it dies. Seems pretty uh, problematic for your opponents. Regrowth. Shadow Mage Infiltrator. This card's very good as well. Myriad Landscape. And a Protean Hulk. This guy was worth a whole bunch of money at some point, wasn't he? I feel like he was. And that's because when he enters, when he dies, you can search your library for any number of creature cards with total converted mana cost 6 or less and put them onto the battlefield. So he's very good for like a like a sack deck, Gol Golgari, you know, uh, dredge deck, I guess. Maybe not dredge, but like you know, something along those lines. Basically, where you can sack aristocrats and aristocrats deck. It's not really ideal for aristocrats since you don't really play green with aristocrats, but you know, angel token there for that from that pack. What did I just lose? I don't know. Okay, Curiosity is our first uncommon. Then Stang. Then Utopia Sprawl. Also, probably still worth a couple bucks. And our rare is a Stryonic Resonator from M14. Not anything super crazy there. But we did get another foil rare. A second foil rare, and it's Grenzo Dungeon Warden. I don't know where this guy's sitting, but uh, I'm sure he's not too bad, considering he can be used as a commander. So... Who knows? Maybe he's not bad as a as a rare foil. I don't know right now. I'll check it after. We got an ancient craving. You draw three cards, then lose three life. Stampede driver, Urbis protector. And an Elvish Piper. This is a card that I remember back from my days playing in like 7th and 8th edition because it was reprinted during that time. Um, it is from Urza's, um, but it did get reprinted. Oh man, we got a foil Colossal Dreadmaw. Perfect. Just what we wanted. Foil Ixalan cards. It's not like we don't have enough of those, especially since Colossal Dreadmaw was reprinted in Rivals as well. <laughs> Your chances of having a foil Colossal Dreadmaw are pretty high. Pretty high. Spike Shot Goblin. Swords to Plowshares. Very good. Uncommon. Zulaport Cutthroat. This guy, very good. They're speaking of Aristocrats. Very good card for Aristocrats. Hey, we got a Twilight Mire. All right. Another Filter Land. Pretty good. I'm okay with that. Definitely fine with me. And a foil Twisted Abomination. All right. Let's keep cracking along here. Here we go. Boom. Twisted Image. Uh, Iwamori, Iwamori of the Open Fist. This card's really good. Uh, you gotta roll the dice, though. Gotta roll the dice with him. Iron Shaman. And, hey, it's a Mikokoro Center of the Sea. It's not a bad little rare, either. And a Foil Prophetic Prism. With a Kraken! There's the 9-9 Kraken token that you get from that whale. There it is. It's even eating the whale. In the, in the, in the token. So let me know below in the comments if you've played it all. Or you've opened anything. Open anything sweet. Stampede Driver. I want to know. Core Firewalker. Boros Charm. And Pact of Negation. Very good rare as well. And a foil, giant growth. I think we're still we're still quite quite short on mythics here. We only have one. We have one mythic so far. 
You hope for, I think, generally speaking, you get at least two mythics from a box. Goblin Wardrums. Valor in Ak Ar Akros. Val Valor in Akros. Caustic Tar. Man, Caustic Tar. And a Blood Moon. There's the Blood Moon. The Blood Moon that's been reprinted to, to death. And our little 1-1 one -one Skeleton with Regenerate from the Skeletonize Red Spell. Burn something for three and it makes a little 1-1... One -one skeleton if the thing dies all right undead gladiator ash barons again there you go murder of crows murder it's a murder vindicate destroy target permanent very good rare um and a foil mana war with a morph token um vindicates very good i like it um mainly because it's three mana destroy target permanent like it's just not even there's no stipulation it is sorcery speed which makes it not as great as an instant but i mean like hey sometimes it's all right perilous mirror this guy's very good as well especially in uh, in draft browbeat nyx fleece ram oh there's our mythic doomsday i don't think this is uh super crazy to be completely honest but uh you know it's still a thing. It's still a thing. Now, if it was foil, maybe. No? No, it's even worse than tree, right? Search your library and graveyard for five cards. Exile the rest. Put the chosen cards on top of your library in any order. You lose half your life rounded up. So, it's a pretty bad mythic, from what I understand. Zombify. Foil zombify, though. Does that, that means that the creature that you bring back from the graveyard becomes foil, right? That's how that works. I think that's how that works. Can you imagine? Just like somehow managing to foil your cards in the middle of a game. Zada, Hedron Grinder. Genju of the Falls. Ravenous Chupacabra. I'm going to guess that this guy's come down quite a bit in price now. Since uh, he's technically in Rivals. And so he was a decent price because he's good removal for standard. And he's an uncommon. Now that they've reprinted him in Masters 25, like, almost immediately, this this is probably worth almost nothing, I would guess. Um, anyway, we'll put it to the side just in case. Rest in Peace. Rest in Peace is not a bad little uh, rare. So, when Rest in Peace enters the battlefield, exile all cards from all graveyards. If a card or token will be put into a graveyard, exile it instead. And a foil, Frenzied Goblin. Oh, look, we got the Stang Twin. There he is, the twin boy, the twin dude, uh, Kong Ming, Sleeping Dragon. This guy's very good in draft as well. 2-2, two, two, other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Just very good. Twisted Image, Caustic Tar again, and hey, speaking of Grenzo, there he is, Grenzo Dungeon Warden. 2-2 two, two for a red, a black, and X, and a foil... Oh, I see. Interesting. So this is the fish. You get a fish, and then a whale, and then a kraken. Interesting. So uh, uh, we got a foil chartooth cougar there. Uh. All right, we're nearing nearing the end. Do you think we'll hit a third mythic in this box, or are we just stuck with two? Frozen tusker, red elemental blast, murder of crows, and a pendle haven. The, uh, the uncommon that is now a, a rare, I guess. Um, I don't think Pendlehaven is worth super crazy amounts of money or anything like that. I know that it was a very good card to hit in Legends. Um, yeah, so it's like a couple bucks. And we got a foil Nazumi Cutthroat. Elf Warrior. What's up next? What's up next? The last couple of packs here goblin war drums shadow mage infiltrator treasure treasure keeper and ella demir's call ella demiri ella demiri's call that's the one and ooh, a foil rancor that's probably worth something so we'll put that to the side and a morph token Foil Rancor, I'm okay with that. Rancor is worth a couple bucks just by itself. 
Or I should say, it's worth like a dollar fifty or something along those lines. Hey, look, a Street Wraith. Street Wraith, probably still worth a couple bucks as well. Pyroclasm. Uh, Corona's Zealot, or Zealot. Triskaidekaphobia. There it is. The card that got printed because it need, they needed something to make tree look a little better, right? Oh, wait, that doesn't really work too well since the tree they printed was the green tree, not the black tree. So you can't kill your opponent with it. In fact, you end up just killing yourself. Not the best idea, I guess. Not the best idea. Ish, uh, Ishan's Shade. Regrowth. Willbender. And Sundering Titan. The 710 that says when it enters the battlefield or leaves the battlefield, choose a land of each basic land type, then destroy those lands. And we got a foil echoing courage with an angel token. Last pack, everybody. Last pack. Can we get there? Can we find a third mythic? I'm going to go with no. I'm going to go with no. Kong Ming's Sleeping Dragon. Curiosity. Utopia Sprawl. Not a bad little uncommon. There you go. And Coalition Relic. So there it is. There it is. Our first box of Masters 25. How do you think we did? I think we didn't do too great, to be honest. I think we did okay. I don't think we did great. Um, we got two filter lands. We got the Mikoko, uh, Mik Miko Koro. We got a Blood Moon. That's not too bad. Um, Foil Grenzo. I don't know what that's sitting at. We did get a click, so that's not so bad. We did hit a fair number of uncommons and commons worth worth something probably. So that's not so bad. Um, but I think the box could have been much better. But maybe maybe that's the whole point of this set, and that's why most people were fairly upset with this set once it finally got fully spoiled because the first couple you know days of spoiler season. It looked amazing, and then it just kind of went down the tube, I think. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been your host, Mr. Bevers. Don't forget I have a store, nerdvonastore.ca, for all your single needs, as well as a Patreon, where you can get discount codes to that store, along with grab bags, bundles, booster boxes, those kinds of things. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, may your pulls ever be better.